Oh my goodness, Miss Heather, I am so excited. <gasps> I see your tent is all set up. Oh, you yeah. brought me camping. I cannot wait to spend a few days in the woods with you. And I'm all set because I'm ready for camping. Okay. First of all, I've got my bright orange shirt because you see that. I, I was afraid I'd get lost. And so if I get lost, you'll be able to find me really easy because I'm just going to wear my yes, shirt. Yes, I will. Yes, you won't I will. miss me. And then I wore my paracord bracelet because I heard somewhere that... If we're mountain climbing or cli or and and I need a rope that I can take my bracelet apart and use it as a rope, so I have that. Okay. I didn't know. Okay. And then I um I don't like mosquito bites, and so I brought some bug spray. Okay. So I bought some bug spray, and I brought my Bible because I thought it would be a really cool place to to read the Bible right here in God's creation. So I think I'm I think I'm all set. Well, I brought the essentials as well. <laughs> I love to make s'mores when we're camping, so I brought the marshmallows and the graham crackers and the chocolate. So um, the fire isn't quite ready okay. to make our s'mores yet. We gotta let the coals okay. kind of settle in. You know, when they get nice and red hot coals, then we'll make our, our s'mores. Okay. So okay. I figured I'm gonna put this stuff down while we wait. Okay. We can do my favorite thing. We can tell stories. We brought our storybooks too. Bible campfire stories from the Bible. Love it. Um, do you want to say a quick prayer so that when our coals are ready, we can eat our s'mores? I do. Okay. We, we should always start with prayer. Yeah. And what a great place to pray in um, God's creation. We can pray anytime, anywhere, anywhere about, about anything. anything. Yep. So, dear God, thank you for your beautiful creation. Thank you for all of the wonderful things you have created for us. Help us to always try hard to put you first and thank you for loving us no matter what, even when we make mistakes. We love you and thank you. Amen. Amen. So today's story, I put a bunch of them together for us for okay. our camping trips. Okay. So today's story is about a man who protected the people of Jerusalem and kept them safe. He was kind of like a policeman for them. That man's name was Nehemiah. Oh, I love this story. Yes. I love this. I love yeah. Nehemiah. Yeah, because years earlier in Jerusalem, the people of Jerusalem got captured by the Babylonians and taken away to Babylon. And when everybody had been taken away, the city walls, when they were captured, yeah, they were destroyed. destroyed. And nobody was there to rebuild them. And so the destroyed walls just kept crumbling and they were in very bad shape. Well, after a long time, the people of Jerusalem were able to come back. But there was a problem. Because those destroyed walls didn't keep the city safe anymore. And so that's where our hero Nehemiah comes in. Because he comes back and he has a plan that he's going to rebuild the city walls. Wow. And the people were really, really excited because their city's going to be safe again. But rebuilding the walls took a long time. Like, it wasn't done like that. Mm, it wasn't no, really quick. No. So during that time when they were rebuilding the walls, the city was still vulnerable to their enemies. The people weren't safe while they were rebuilding. Like, they were building the walls, but the enemies could still come in and, and, and hurt them. So they needed someone to protect them and keep them safe. And Nehemiah stepped in to help. Oh, so I love this story. Can I read? Can, I, I want to I talk about, because I know the very first thing that Nehemiah did. Okay. I, and I want to see if you can figure it out. So okay. I'm going to go to Nehemiah in the Bible. I have it marked here. Um, it's Nehemiah chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. Yeah. Nehemiah prayed. And said, Oh God, listen to our prayer. These men hate us. Sanballat and Tobiah are insulting us. Make bad things happen to them. Make them ashamed like people taken away as prisoners. Don't take away their guilt or forgive the sins they have done in your sight. They have insulted and discouraged the builders. So, the first thing Nehemiah did was to pray. Isn't that amazing? Whatever our plans, we need to always go to God first. If we feel frightened or sad or have a big project, have walls to rebuild, we may not actually be rebuilding walls, but we always go to God first. Yeah. Well, the next thing Nehemiah did, he prayed, and then he posted a guard. Night and day, he posted a guard. 
this guard would be able to see the enemy coming, and even from a long way off, and alert everybody of the danger. Nehemiah knew that some parts of the wall were probably more vulnerable than other parts. So he posted a guard there with spears and swords and bows and arrows so that the people would be kept safe and no enemies would be able to get through those parts of the wall. And he was so smart because he took half of the workers and had them building the wall and he took half of the workers and had them protecting and guarding the people who were building the wall. And he also even gave swords and bows and arrows and things to the workers just in case they got through the guards. So Nehemiah had such a good plan. He had half working on the wall and half guarding the workers that were working on the wall. Yeah. Well, it took a long time. And Nehemiah loved the people of Jerusalem and wanted to keep them safe. And his plan, it worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The enemies were turned away. And even when they saw how the city, how well the city was protected, they were, the people were able to rebuild the walls and be safe again. That's pretty cool. It, you know... I think what's really cool about this story is that you don't have to wait. Well, first, Nehemiah prayed, and then he had a good plan. Mm -hmm. And he was a grown-up. But you know what's really cool? You don't have to wait to be a grown-up to help people and to bring glory to God. Because what Nehemiah was doing was bringing glory to God. He was building that wall to protect God's people, which is pretty cool. So there are some things, you don't have to go out and build a big stone wall, but there are things that you can do to protect others. Yeah. You could uh, help somebody that's being bullied at school. Uh, you can help somebody who's getting picked on. You can let your teacher know that that ha is happening because the teacher is kind of there to also protect you. Uh, there's just so many things that you can do that you don't have to wait until you're a grown-up. So the story is about you know what what I can even help protect you while we're camping oh you know I can point out sticks and roots as we go on hikes yes and, and I don't have to be a grown-up to do that as we're hiking no. you know I can help protect you as we're hiking I maybe maybe I can put sunscreen and remind you to put sunscreen or, or your bug spray. bug spray yeah you know sometimes sometimes my little friends are better at remembering the sunscreen and the bug spray oh, than I am. Yes. And so they remind me and they help protect me with those kind of things. You know, uh, and things like putting up a tent to keep us dry if it rains. Mm -hmm. Kids can do all of that stuff. You don't have yeah. to wait to be a grown-up. And you don't have to build a whole wall around the city. It's the little things that you do that glorify God. So, oh, I love this I'm gonna story. Protect, I'm going to help protect you on this camping trip. Okay. And you can help protect me protect on this you. camping trip. Yes. But... But I'm kind of excited because, I don't know if you've noticed, but it looks like the fire might be ready because I think it might be time for us to start our s'mores. What do you think? Maybe. Are we ready? I've got my... I've got my you got your stick? I've got my stick. Okay. All right. Okay. So, bye everybody. We're going to have our s'mores. Yes. Enjoy.